Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton agreeing to pay more than $3 million to four former top officials in his office. They filed a whistleblower lawsuit against him. And as our political reporter Jack Fink explains, the men say they were improperly fired after making allegations of corruption against Paxton. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton says he is settling the whistleblower lawsuit filed by four former top officials in his office so he can put it behind him. Those four men and four other top officials in the AG's office went to the FBI nearly three years ago, making allegations of bribery and abuse of office against Paxton. He fired them and called them, quote, rogue employees. As part of the settlement agreement, Paxton is paying them $3.3 million. The agreement says, quote, whereas Attorney General Ken Paxton accepts that plaintiffs acted in a manner that they thought was right and apologizes for referring to them as rogue employees. And the press release that calls them rogue will be removed from the agency's website. David Cole is an attorney in Dallas who's not affiliated with this case. This involves whistleblower allegations at the highest echelons of Texas state government. I mean, these are the people and the, the closest advisors that the t state attorney general had. One of the plaintiffs, Mark Penley, a former deputy attorney general for criminal justice, said in a statement, quote, I am glad that the office of attorney general has recognized the legitimacy of our claims and the value of the damages we sustained. As a group, our actions were not motivated by politics in any respect. Paxton has denied any wrongdoing and in a statement to CBS 11 said, quote, I have reached a settlement agreement to put this issue to rest. I have chosen this path to save taxpayer dollars and ensure my third term as attorney general is unburdened by unnecessary distractions. If spending $3.3 million is in fact a savings of money, that suggests that he was either thinking there was going to be a long period in court or a potentially larger uh, payout that would ultimately be due at the end of the day. No word on the status of the FBI's investigation. Paxton still faces three unrelated state felony fraud charges, and he has denied any wrongdoing in that case, too. In Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.